Why does our mainstream healthcare system still consider cancer as a genetic disease rather than a metabolic disease? And this misconception is at the heart of our struggle to effectively treat cancer, recognizing it as a metabolic disease rather than purely genetic can open up doors to more successful treatments. Professor Thomas Seyfried has extensively researched cancer for decades and its fuel sources and how metabolic therapies can effectively treat it. We know that cancer uses fermentable fuels, right? Such as glucose and glutamine, which is a very common amino acid. And that's why it can grow and survive in a poxic environment. And the minute you oxygenate it and you cut off its fuel sources, guess what happens next? It sounds too easy, right? But if you do it correctly, it can be very effective. Contrary to common belief, managing cancer through metabolic therapy is less complex than you might think, with the right approach, of course. And I personally applied this concept to numerous of cancer clients with great success, and I'm so grateful for that. And this discussion isn't about criticizing the conventional treatment, but rather using an open-minded approach to view cancer from a different perspective. Professor Thomas' research provides invaluable insights into understanding cancer as a metabolic disease, offering alternatives to chemo and radiation. And as always, if you're interested in learning more about this topic, email me at info at arizonanutritionist.com because there's only so much we can talk about on here, if you know what I mean. So, but once you email me, we can set up a phone call and we discuss everything more openly. Thank you.